Al alamin amin. Amin. Okay. 23. Ini hari ini 23. No. Yes, today is 24 June. Okay, let's start our lesson for today. But before we okay, make sure everyone you have to ready with your activity books. Okay, make sure you have activity books. Okay, mommy, jangan mommy activity. Pergi lah, mommy. Because today uh, I will use activity book. Right. Okay, good. Make sure you have your activity book. Ada. Your pencil and also your pen. Ada. Okay, I have to mute all. <coughs> So today we will start our lesson. So before we discuss our activity books, okay, we will do a little bit revision the topic that we have learned. Do you still remember we have learned about measurement? Okay, show me your thumbs up if you still remember. Okay, very good. So, Okay, if you still remember, it's very good, but I will do a little bit revision so that those who not join uh, my last lesson, you will learn. Okay, look at to my screen. Okay, teacher will go through one by one, okay, what we have learned in topic measurement. Okay, can you see my slide? Boleh tengok slide teacher? Ha, dah ada orang conteng slide teacher ni. Okay, everyone can you see my slide? Okay, good. Okay, so... Okay, let's do a revision. In topic measurement, you have learned about measuring unit in area and also in volume. So in area, okay, you will use centimeter, meter and also kilometer. This is the measuring unit that we are used to measure the area. So this is the symbol CM, meter and KM. KM, meter. M and CM is the symbol. But the unit here is centimeter, meter and kilometer. Okay, next. Okay, do you still remember the formula? How we want to ah, ah, calculate the area? So this is the formula. If we want to measure the area, we have to use this formula. Length times dengan width. Kalau kita nak kira area, area ni luas. Okay, we have to uh, times the length and also the width. Panjang dia kali dengan lebar. For example, here at this book. Okay, dia punya panjang is 4 cm. And dia punya lebar is 2 cm. So, you have two times the length and also the width so that you will get the value of the area okay next beside we use formula we also can use graph paper to measure the area as you can see this is rectangle this is purple rectangle how we want to measure the area Ah, by using graph paper, teacher tak bagi number but you can get the number from the graph paper. Okay, let me show you how we get the number. Okay, as you can see here, ada kotak kat sini kan. Ni satu, dua, three box. So, this is, the length here is three centimeter. And then, What is the weight here? One, two, so times with two cm. So the area of this ball is equal to 
cm squared. Don't forget to put uh, squared here number 2. Okay. Okay, I hope you still remember how we want to measure the area. You can use graph paper and also you can use formula. Okay, next. Okay, in this topic measurement also, uh, we have learned how to measure the area of irregular, uh, irregular surface ataupun irregular uh, object. For example here, leave your hand. Okay, do you still remember last Monday, teacher asked you to measure your hand. Okay, that is irregular surface. Bentuk dia tak sama. So, when, when we want to measure the irregular surface, we have to use graph paper. And you have to count the box one by one. Kalau half, uh, you have to uh, half plus half equal to one. Okay, this is how we want to use the graph paper. Okay, for example here, okay, as you can see, this is example of irregular shape. Okay, so when teacher want to measure the area, teacher have to put it on the graph paper. Then we calculate one by one. How many, uh, how many box here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So the area of this object is thirteen centimeter squared. Okay, remember we have to take the area which are more than half. Or if you see ada half kat sini, ada half kat sini, then you can consider it as one. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, in this topic also, teacher have teach you how to measure the volume of liquid. And last time, teacher have shown you the measuring cylinder. So, uh, when we want to... Okay, when we want to measure the volume, we have to use measuring cylinder. As you can see, this is measuring cylinder. But how we want to take the reading from measuring cylinder? Okay, as you can see here, this is meniscus. Meniscus ni bentuk dia curve. So, at which level should our eyes... Ah, as you can see at this picture, our eye level must be straight with the meniscus. Meniscus ni yang bentuk lengkong ni. You cannot take the reading at the upper here. Okay, you have to take the reading at the curve. Okay, at center here. So, this is the correct way how you want to get the correct reading of measuring cylinder. So, as you can see here, what is the reading of measuring cylinder? This one is 30, 35, 36. So, here is 36 ml. Okay, another example. You can see curve here. Okay, curve here. Okay, you have to take the reading at the meniscus level. Dekat bawah ni. So, the answer here is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And make sure your position, your eye position is level with the surface of the liquid. Mata awak kena same level with the liquid. Tak boleh tengok atas sangat, tak boleh tengok bawah sangat. Okay. Okay, let's proceed to the next slide. Ha, now, I want you to state the reading of this measuring cylinder. Do you still remember how to read the measuring cylinder? Give me your answer. What is the um, volume of this measuring cylinder? Okay, I hope I can get answer from you. Okay, Ilham, very good. You give me the correct answer. 
Okay, Amahadi, very good. But make sure don't forget to put the unit. Yes, Akil, uh, try again. Don't forget to put your unit. Okay, what is the volume of this measuring cylinder? Kenapa CM? Why CM? This is volume. When volume, you have to use ML. As you can see at this measuring cylinder. Can you see measuring cylinder here? The unit is ML. Milliliter. Okay, Fatin Auni. Very good. Rania. Okay, good. Okay, very good, Akif Kif. Ah, after this, um, make sure you know what is the unit. Okay, ML is for volume. Color area, then you will use CM. Ibrahim Umar, are you sure? Your answer, try again. Okay. How we get the reading? Okay, as you can see here is two. So you have to calculate one, two, three. So the answer here is 2.3 ml. So this is the volume of the measuring cylinder. Okay. Okay, very good, Ibrahim. Okay, let's proceed to the next slide. This one you have learned. So I just do a little bit revision before we go to the um, activity books. Okay, just now teacher uh, teach you how to get the reading from the measuring cylinder. But now teacher will teach you how to get the volume of the box or hollow box. Okay, do you still remember teacher will use cube? Okay, this cube, the volume is one centimeter cube. Okay, because, okay, the reading here is one cm. This one is one cm. And this one also one cm. So, when you times these three side, the length, width, and also height, you will get one centimeter cube. So, bila awak susun this cube, when you arrange this cube, you will get 20 cubes. So, the volume of this box is 20 centimeter cube. Macam mana boleh dapat 20? Because when you arrange the cube here, uh, like like ice cube ni, our array sampai dia penuh, you will get 20 cube. So, it's representing 20 centimeter cube. Okay, because uh, last time I, I asked you to answer the question this, this one. So this is the example how we want to um, get the volume of hollow box. Okay, I hope you still remember. Okay, next let's we proceed to the next slide. Okay, beside we use the cube, we also can use a ah, formula how we want to measure the volume. I hope you still remember the formula to measure the volume. Okay, is, is the length times the length, width times the length, um, high. Okay, this is the, um, this is the formula how we want to calculate the volume. Now, I want you to calculate what is the volume of this box. Can you give me the answer? Oh, Raju, Ilham. Okay, very good, Ilham. You give me the correct answer. Okay, can you give me what is the volume of this box? Akif Kis, where is your unit? Amahandi, where is your unit? Make sure, okay, you have to calculate it carefully. Ibrahim, Oh my, okay, very good. You give me the correct answer. Amahadi, uh, check, check your answer. Make sure you times the length times the width times the high. Tiga-tiga ni kena darab. Okay, Darish Razik. Are you sure CM2? Yes, Mumtaza, you can go to toilet. Are you sure to volume? Nampak tak ada tiga? One, two, three. So, must be CM2. Uh, cube. If 
Fatin Auni. Uh, check back your answer. Okay, Ilha, very good. Uh, that's me. You understand how to calculate the volume. Akif Kis, check back your answer. Okay, good. Darish Razi, you put the CM cube. Okay, Rania, very good. Okay, Zia, your answer is correct. But your unit, CM, 3, eh? Okay, Dini, 36 is correct. But don't forget to put CM cube. Okay, Hana, good. Okay. Fatin Auni, okay, good. Okay, now you can give me the correct answer. Very good. So, let's proceed to the next slide. Okay, I should write the answer here. Okay, you can see 6 cm times with 2 cm times with 3 cm. It's equal to uh, 6 times 2 is equal to 12. 12 times 3 is 36 cm. Cube. Don't forget to put cube. Okay, kat sini teacher guna centimeter. So, you have to put centimeter. Okay, if teachers use ml, then you put ml cube. Okay, so let's proceed to the next slide. Okay. Now, I will teach you how to measure the volume of irregular shape. Contoh dekat sini, batu. Batu, teacher nak measure volume dia. Tapi, teacher tak boleh dapat number how teacher want to measure. So, we will use um, the method water displacement method. As you can see at the picture here. Okay, this is the reading of the measuring cylinder. Initial measuring. Uh, initial reading of measuring cylinder awalnya tujuh je. Then when teacher put the object inside the measuring cylinder, so the volume will be rise up. Awak nampak air dia naik. So air yang naik ni, this is the final volume. So remember when we want to know the volume of this object, we have to take the final volume minus with initial volume. Okay, good Ilham, you give me the correct answer. Okay, as you can see here, the final volume is 9 uh, ml. Okay, this is the final volume, 9 ml minus with the initial volume yang awal tadi, teacher tak letak batu, is 7 ml. So, the volume of the object is 2 ml. Okay, this is... Uh, the method of water displacement. Maksudnya bila kita letak something inside the bottle ke measuring cylinder, air dia akan naik. Okay, bila naik tu, that is equal to the volume of um, object. Okay, most of you give me the correct answer. Very good. Okay, so next teacher will proceed to the next slide. Okay, this is Another example, how we want to know the volume of irregular object. Okay, can you give me the answer? What is the volume of this object? Okay, who can give me the answer? What is the volume of this object? Okay, Ilham, Ibrahim. Yes, very good. You give me the correct answer. Okay, we have to take the volume, the final volume of this measuring cylinder minus with the initial volume. Yes, Dini, your answer is correct. Okay, final volume minus initial volume. Final volume minus initial volume. Volume is equal to, okay, final volume here is 33. So, we take 33 ml minus with 25 ml. So, the answer is 8 
ML. Okay, Fatin Auni, very good. Okay, now we proceed to the next slide. Okay, another way how we want to uh, measure the irregular, the volume of irregular object, we can also use Eureka can. As you can see here, this is Eureka can. Kat Eureka can ni, dia ada satu mulut. Okay, as you can see here, muncung this. Okay, we have to put the water level until the mouth of this Eureka can. Then, when we put the object, the water will overflow, will rises up and overflow. So, air yang tumpah ni, okay, air tumpah ni is equal to the volume of the object. Okay, bila teacher dah letak penuh-penuh air dalam Eureka can, when teacher want to measure the volume of the object, teacher put object inside the Eureka can, then the water will be come out. So, this water yang keluar dekat measuring cylinder ni is equal to the volume of the object. So the volume of this object is 15 ml. Okay next, teacher want to measure the cork. Cork ni dia terapung. So teacher ikat dia. Then bila teacher put the cork inside the Eureka can, ada lagi air keluar. So this is the final volume of the uh, measuring cylinder. So macam mana teacher nak tahu cork ni? So we have to take the reading of this measuring cylinder 23 ml minus with 15. So we will get the volume of the cork. Okay, 23 minus 5 is equal to 8 ml. Okay, sama macam tadi, 8 ml. Okay, next. Let, let's see. Ada lagi tak slide teacher? Okay, this is another example. As you can see here, um, teacher put the water level until the mouth of Eureka can. And then when teacher put the solid here or the object, the water will be overflow. So, air yang tumpah ni is equal to the volume of the solid here. Okay, I hope all of you can understand the topic of measuring cylinder. Okay, so now get ready with your activity books. Okay, we will do exercise together. So I hope you can answer the question after this. Okay, open page 58. Open page 58, 58. Buka muka surat 58. Okay, buka muka surat 58. We will do together. Yes, Ibrahim Omar, kenapa? Page 50, page berapa ni? Buka muka surat 58. Ah, this one. Page 58. Okay, let's do it together. Okay, teacher will share the question inside the uh, activity books. Okay, now let's look at page 58. Okay, we will continue on methods of measuring volume. Okay, look at to the question here. Complete the sentence with the correct answer. So the question, the uh, 
Okay, in this question, they already give you the choice of the answer. Either measuring cylinder, eureka can, one centimeter cube, size cube, two centimeter, size cube. So, you have to choose the answer from here and put inside uh, the sentence, to complete the sentence. Okay, look at question number one. Okay, I want to measure the volumes of hollow box. I can use a, ah, what should you use to find its volume? You can see the student here um, hold the hollow box. Okay, what is the method that we can use to find this volume? Okay, now I want, teacher akan tanya eh, so I let teacher tanya jawapan dekat. Okay, yes, Amah Hadi. Okay, what is your answer for question number one? One C and three size cube. Okay, very good. The answer here is one cm size cube. As you can see here, kecil je kan cube dia. So, I want to measure the volume of hollow ball. So, I can use the one cm, uh, one cm size cube. Okay, very good Amahadi. Okay, teacher tulis dulu, okay? One cm cube size cube. Okay, question number two. I want to ask. Okay, Hana Sofia. Hana Sofia, can you give me the answer for the question number two? Okay, I will unmute your microphone. Okay, just choose the answer from here. Question number one, uh, the, the answer is 1 cm size cube. Okay, what is the answer for question number two? This student want to measure the volume of a drink carton. I can use a, uh, yang mana satu nak guna ni? Yes, Hana, which one? Okay, very good. So the answer here is 2 cm size cube. Kita kena guna yang besar sikit. 2 cm cube size cube. Okay, because the student want to measure the drink carton. Air kotak tu besar sikit. So we have to use 2 cm cube size cube. Okay, the question number three. I want, siapa ni? Teacher nak siapa jawab ya? Akmal Haikal. Akmal Haikal, are you there? Okay, give me what is the answer for question number three? Um, what? Sekejap ya. Oh, Akmal belum ambil lagi um, buku kan? Ya. Okay, question number three. I want to measure the volume of a pebble. So, I can use a... Ha, jawapan kat atas ni. Boleh guna apa? The answer is here. What is this? Measuring calendar. Measuring cylinder and another one is? What is this? Eureka can. So, okay, this student, dia kata, I want to measure the volume of a pebble. So, I can use, ah, for sure, we can use measuring cylinder. And another one is, Eureka can. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, you can write the answer at your activity books. Activity book saya tak ada. Tak ada. Uh, nanti boleh ambil kat sekolah ya. You can take your activity book at, at school. Bila? Bila-bila pun boleh ambil. Okay. Okay, 
Ask your parents to take your activity book. Siapa yang belum ambil, you can take your activity book at school. Teacher kena buka, uh, guna buku aktiviti awak nanti. Uh, buku aktiviti awak tak jawab. Banyak dah tak jawab. So we will do together, okay? After this. Lepas ni pun teacher guna activity books. Kita akan buat revision on the previous topic. Uh, muka surat berapa? 58. Okay, next. Okay, dah siap Salin? Dah siap? Okay, I give you time to write the answer. Okay. Okay, Ilham dah siap. Okay, kita tunggu yang lain pula. Teacher nampak macam Akif tengah menulis lagi. Okay, Dini dan very good. Semua dah siap salin? Okay, now let's proceed. Okay, Akif Kiz dan Siapa lagi? Kau dah siap tulis kan? Nanti cerita awak dah siap. Okay, Hana dan Dah siap Hana? Okay. Rania dan Okay, good. Zia Kaisra, Fatin Auni, Akil, Danish Anik. Dah siap ke? Okay, Amahadi dan Fatin Auni dan Okay. So let's proceed to the next um, page, 59. Okay, look at question on 59. Okay, let's read the question. Okay, the question asks you to take the apparatus that can be used to measure the volume of liquid. So, which apparatus are suitable to measure the liquid? I want... Okay, Mumtaza Amsha, can you give me your answer? Yang mana satu? We want to make uh, apparatus that we can use to measure the volume. Ha, yang mana satu? Alat mana yang kita boleh guna untuk measure volume? Cecair. Macam air. Hmm. Measuring cylinder. Ha, yes. Measuring cylinder lagi? Dengan apa? Yang cap. <laughs> okay. Okay, we can use measuring cylinder. Lagi satu apa? Muas? Muas? Okay. Your friends already give me your the answer. Okay. Our circle here, we can use measuring cylinder. Okay, ni measuring cylinder. Kita boleh ukur volume. And then we also can use beaker. Another one. We can also use shrink. Yang macam awak makan ubat tu, we will use shrink. Uh, so, this one also we can use to measure the volume. Shrink tu, kalau kita makan ubat, you will use shrink kan? Ada yang 5 ml, ada yang 3 ml. So you can use uh, this shrink to measure the volume, volume of liquid. So this is the answer. Okay, I want you to take shrink, measuring cylinder and also beaker. Okay. 
Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Okay, join the dotted line to show the correct eye position to read the measuring cylinder. Ah, position mata yang mana yang betul? Okay, Akif case, give me your answer. Yang mana satu? Teacher, okay, teacher nak awak lukis Akif case. Cuba lukis dekat mana yang betul, mata yang mana? Uh, mana? Ha, mata yang atas ke, yang tengah ke, yang belah kanan ni? Yang belah bawah yang ni. Ha, cuba tunjuk pakai awak punya mouse. Eh, yang mana satu? Atas tu ke bawah? Okay, teacher besarkan. Sekejap eh. Okay, cuba lagi sekali lukis. Okay, good. Okay, thank you Akif. So, yeah. the question asks you join the dotted line to show the correct eye position. So, mata awak kena yang ambil bawah ni. Kenapa bukan yang ni? Yang ni salah sebab dia ambil yang atas. Okay, dia kena ambil yang bawah dekat tengah-tengah ni. This is the uh, meniscus. Yang atas tak boleh salah. So, your eye level must be at here. So, kenapa nak mata kita kena sama level? Okay. The position of level, uh, the position. So, the answer is the position of eyes must be same level with the Meniscus. Okay. Meniscus. Ini meniscus dia. So the position of eye must be must same level with meniscus. Okay, write your answer. Yes. Afam? Afam dah ambil buku ke belum? Ada. Dah ada. Tulis jawapan dah? Ada. Buku ni buku aktiviti lah. Aktiviti books. Ada, saya pergi rumah lain. Pergi rumah lain? Dah ambil buku dekat sekolah dah? Dah. Dah. Dah jawab ke belum dalam buku tu? Belum. Belum? Nanti buat eh. Nanti ambil balik buku tu kat rumah lain lepas tu buat. Okay, oh. make, sure, make sure after this kalau ada kelas teacher you have to um, bring your activity books, your notebook, okay, and also your textbook. Maybe I will use, okay. Okay, have you done copy the answer? Oh. Okay. Hello there. Okay, I hope. Okay, very good, Amahadi. Okay, please write your answer. Okay, Amahadi dan Huzaira dan. Okay, Ilham dah. Okay, very good. Okay, next we will proceed to the next page. Done. Okay, open page 60. Zeti done, okay. Let's proceed to the next page. Buka muka surat 60. Okay, ini panjang. You have to uh, write back the step how we want to read the measuring cylinder. Okay, rearrange the steps on how to measure the volume of liquid using a measuring cylinder by numbering them one to four. 
then write the correct step for each diagram. Okay, as you can see here. Awak kena jawab dua benda ya. You have to answer two things. First, you have to answer which is, okay, which is the first step, how you want to take the reading of the measuring cylinder. Okay, step. Mana step nombor satu? Ni ke this one? This one or this one? Okay, you have to write the step. And another one, you have to write uh, the description of this picture. Okay, now I want to ask um, Siapa lagi teacher belum tanya ni? Okay, Zia. Okay, dalam gambar ni yang mana step nombor satu? First kali kita kena buat apa? Gambar yang mana satu? Uh, tuang air ke, letak kertas ke, letak measuring cylinder ke Kena baca, yang mana satu? Letak air Letak air Sebelum letak air kena buat apa? Um, kena Okay Okay, the first step, what should we do? We have, okay, this is the first step. Okay, look at here. This is the first step. Pertama sekali, you have to put the measuring cylinder. Okay, awak kena letak measuring cylinder at the flat surface. Awak letak atas meja yang flat. Okay, this is number one. Number two, bila dah letak dekat um, flat surface, baru kita tuang air. Next, we will Uh, pour the liquid inside the measuring cylinder. Okay, next. Nombor tiga. Uh, lepas dah letak air, kita kena letak kertas kat belakang supaya kita boleh nampak nombor dekat measuring cylinder. Okay, contohnya ni measuring cylinder teacher. Ni contoh ya. Teacher tak ada measuring cylinder. Contohnya ni measuring cylinder teacher. Teacher tak boleh nak baca nombor sebab dia putih. So what should teacher do is, teacher put the blank paper. So teacher ambil blank paper, teacher letak kat belakang dan teacher can read the reading easily. Okay. Last kali, teacher baca the new reading. Wow. <laughs> okay. So next, you have to match the sentence to the picture. Okay, look at picture number one. Which sentence? Okay, teacher will write the answer here. Hmm. Okay, this picture will describe pour the liquid. Put the liquid into the measuring cylinder. Okay, then picture number two. We have to read, read the volume. With your eye level. In your eyes at the same position, position as the level of the as the level of the menis and okay, and this picture is. Place the measuring cylinder on the flat surface. Place the measuring cylinder on a flat surface. On a flat surface. And last picture, um, you have to hold, hold a piece. 
of white paper behind the measuring cylinder. Okay, now you have to write the answer. Okay, yes. Okay, done. Very good. Okay, Hamdan, Zeti, done. Okay, you can write the answer. Guzaira, done. Okay, very good. Okay, this is the step how you want to read the measuring cylinder. Yang pertama, okay, step number one, you have to place the measuring cylinder on a flat surface. Number two, you will pour the liquid into the measuring cylinder. Number three, hold a piece of white paper behind the measuring cylinder. And lastly, you have to read the volume with your eyes at the level of meniscus. Okay, write the answer. Okay, Ilham asked me, why we need paper? Why don't just read it? You can read actually, but measuring cylinder is clear. So we will put paper so that we can see the number clearly. For example, here you can see my bottle. Bottle teacher ni clear. Okay, susah nak baca nombor tu teacher tak nampak. So when we use blank paper, we can see the number uh, clearly. Kita boleh baca nombor tu lagi jelas sebab ada paper kat belakang. So we can read the measuring cylinder clearly. Sebab tu kita boleh kena letak um, white paper. Kalau tak nanti dia macam ada biasan, ada pantulan so awak susah nak baca. Okay. Next time when we come, uh, when you come to school, teacher will show you the step how to take the reading from measuring cylinder. Okay, measuring cylinder tu nombor dia rapat-rapat, scale dia rapat-rapat. So, to make it clear, we will put uh, white paper, okay? Okay, everyone done? If done, I want to proceed to the next page. Belum lagi? Ha, yang ni panjang sikit kan? Ada lagi dua page je. Kita siapkan sikit lagi. Can we proceed to the next page? Okay, Dini done. Okay, Zahir, we will wait for you. Okay, copy the answer. Akif case done. Okay, very good. Okay, teacher give you another one minute to, for you to complete. Okay, teacher give you one minute for you to complete uh, this page.
Okay. Okay, let's. Okay, Amal Hadi done. This is activity books, okay? Okay, let's um, proceed to the next page. Page 61. Okay, buka muka surat 61. Okay, yang belum siap nanti awak uh, complete, kan? Okay, open page 61. Okay, 61. Okay, let's read the question here. Okay, the question asks you, okay, we and teacher cari mouse teacher mana mouse teacher ni. Okay, measure the volume of an irregular shaped solid. Okay, you have to fill in the blanks with the correct answer on how Aisha uses the water displacement method to measure the volume of spanner. Okay, dia nak letak spanner dalam ni. Okay, now, I want to ask you, Aisha uses what to measure the volume of a spanner? Dia guna apa ni? Uh, teacher nak tanya. Uh, Amah Hadi, Aisha ni guna apa? Measuring cylinder. Okay, so the answer here is measuring cylinder. So, Aisha uses measuring Cylinder. Teacher tadi baru nak buka kacat teacher. Oh, okay. So, Aisha uses measuring cylinder to measure the volumes of spanner. Okay, number two. What is... Eh? Number two. The initial volume of the water is... Okay, berapa initial volume ni? Volume awal dia berapa? ML. Teacher nak siapa pula? Okay, Ilham. Can you give me the answer? The initial volume of water sebelum dia letak spanner tu. Berapa dia punya bacaan measuring cylinder here? 30 ML. Okay, very good. The initial volumes of the water is 30 ML. Can. Okay, then Aisyah uses a, dia guna apa ni? Teacher nak tanya. Okay, Darius Razik. Aisyah guna apa ni untuk ikat? To tie up the spana? Okay, dia guna benang. Awak boleh tulis benang. Awak tulis rope ke? Okay. Dia guna ha, dia guna tali kat sini to tie the spanner. Okay, next. What is the volume of the water? Okay, bila dia dah tak spanner, berapa volume, the final volume? Teacher nak tanya. Ha, then, Dani, Dani. What is the volume of the final, what is the volume for this final volume of measuring cylinder? Okay, Amah Hadi dah tolong jawabkan. Okay, final here is 40 ml. Okay, now can you give me the answer? What is the volume of the spanner? Okay, final volume tadi. The final volume here is 40. 40 ml. The initial volume yang awal tadi sebelum masukkan spanner is 30. 30 ml. So, the volume of the spanner is? Ah, what is your answer? Okay, Ten. Fatih, Ibrahim. Amal. Ah. Okay, very good. You give me the correct answer. The volume of the spanner is 10 ml. Okay, so the volume of the spanner is 10 ml. How you get the 10 ml? We have to minus final volume minus with initial volume. Initial volume. Okay, very good. Okay, everybody done? Dah siap teacher nak proceed to the last page. Dah. Okay, done.
Okay. Okay, let's proceed to the... Okay, this one is the last question and the last page. Then we will end our lesson. Okay, now. I need to use water displacement method to measure the volume of the following object. Okay, now we use Eureka can. Okay, before, um, before we put the object, Okay, the water level inside the Eureka can here is full. So when we put the object, the water will overflow. So now I want to get the reading. I want you to get the reading. What is the volumes of the lock, um, screw and also, what is this? Uh, uh, wait. What is the volume for padlock? The screw and also the weight, pemberat. Okay, anyone, can you give me the answer? What is the volume? You just take the reading from the measuring cylinder. This measuring cylinder shows the volume of the object. So, ambil je jawapan dekat measuring cylinder ni. Okay, can you give me your answer? Okay, what is the volume of the padlock here? Uh, baca je daripada measuring cylinder. Look at your book. What is the reading of the measuring cylinder? Okay, Patin Auni give me answer. Padlock is 12 ml. Okay, very good. Okay, what is the reading for screw? Okay, can you give me? Okay, Patin Auni Amahadi give me the answer. 3 ml. And the last one. Wait, what is the reading of this weight? Okay, Ilham, you give me the correct answer. Amahadi, Fatin Auni, okay, Dini, you give me the correct answer, 5 ml. So, this is the volume of the object. Padlock is 12 ml, screw is 3 ml, and the padlock here, and so, Oh, sorry, and the last one, weight. Pemberat ni is 5 ml. Okay, Dini Akif K Akmal. Give me the correct answer. Okay, very good. So, I hope all of you um, understand the lesson for today. So, those who uh, not take your book, so I hope you can ask your parents to take your book at school so you can complete the exercise inside the activity books. Okay, I hope all of you um, understand um, today's lesson, okay, and complete the exercise. Okay, I stop share, stop share. Okay, I hope all of you can understand today's lesson. I want, okay, everyone, please show me your face. Danny, Danish, Fatin, Rania. I want to take your picture. Rauda, Huzaira, Akil, Zia, Zeti, Nazir, DNSH. Who are you? Zaref, show me your face. I want to take your picture. Okay, smile. Okay, one, ready eh? One, two, three. Okay, that's all for today. Let's recite doa after. We learn together. Let's recite doa. Allahumma ftang alayna hikmataka wa ensure alayna min khaza ini rahmatika ya arhaman rahimin. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafkahu qawli. Dini, what happened to you Dini? Ha. Bila awak buat macam ni, teacher record eh. And your name will appear. So I know who is conteng my screen. Okay, who is share your screen. 
Teacher akan upload this video. So maybe your parents, other parents will see. Don't share your screen. Jangan contoh apa-apa. Okay. Teacher suruh baca doa tadi kan? Okay. Recite doa together. meeting. See you next Friday.